Lesson 6. Steps in Designing ICT-Based Instruction Objectives In our discussion for today, you are expected to A. Demonstrate the ability to follow the steps involved in systematic planning and designing of lessons involving technology. B. Construct instructional materials using the steps in designing ICT-based instruction. Good day, class. Good day, teacher. Class, I will show you various pictures. What you need to do is to examine them. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Okay then. Let's start. What have you noticed from the pictures? What are these pictures? Teacher, I noticed that those pictures both showed example of blackboards. Very good. Now, let's see the other pictures. What are these pictures? These are what? Teacher, the pictures showed example of charts. Great. That's right. Chalkboards. Charts. What are those? Teacher, those are some of the materials being used inside the classroom. Very good. What do you call to those materials? Those materials are called instructional materials. What are instructional materials? Teacher, instructional materials are the tools used in educational lessons, which includes active learning and assessment. Any resource a teacher uses to help him teach his students is an instructional material. Excellent. Can you give me an example of those resources? Teacher. One example is textbook. How do you say that it is an instructional material? Because textbooks help in delivering lessons. Fantastic. What else? Teacher, Aurelia. What are Aurelius? Teacher, Aurelius are objects and material from everyday life, which are used as teaching aids. Very good. Class, since you have given me various examples of instructional materials, which among them do you think is the best? Teacher, there is no best instructional material. Why? It is because, different lessons require different instructional materials. Well then, how can you make instructional materials fit with the lesson? Teacher, that may be done through proper choosing of instructional materials. Or it can be that the teacher creates an instructional material that suits the lesson. Very good. Today class. We're going to discuss how instructional materials can be made. Steps in designing ICT-based instruction will be the focus of our discussion. I have here a video presentation about the steps in designing ICT-based instruction. Let's watch it. Steps in designing ICT-based instruction One day, Mr. Gee is having a self-assessment. He wants to know why his students are not active in his class. He seeks for the help of Miss Santi. Hello, Miss Santi. Hello, Mr. G. You seem sad. Do you have a problem? Oh, yes. Can I ask you something? Sure. What is it? What is your secret? I mean, you always have the full attention of your students. Secret? I have no secret. My students are attentive because they like the materials I'm using. Materials? 
like paper and pencil? Not really. Maybe you should deviate yourself from these traditional materials for a while. How am I going to do that? Well, since our students nowadays are tech savvy, I think that it's good if we use something that they like. Something they could relate to. Something they could relate to? What is that? Well, it can be computer based materials or it can be something that has been integrated to technology. What if there are no materials available? You may create your own then. How? There are steps in designing ICT based instruction. Really? What are those? Three phases in designing ICT based instruction planning, application, evaluation, revision of the lesson plan, evaluation of the result of the instruction. Planning phase. This phase is motivated by a felt need to produce an instructional material. What are the things needed to be considered in this phase? 1. Knowing the learners. Learners are the most important considerations. As the efforts are geared towards their development, the following can be a guide in analyzing the learners. General characteristics. Determine your students, know how they live. Know their background, like who are them, how old they are, what is their status, and how do they interact in socially, entry skills. Know what activities can learners perform, what is the limit of their abilities, and what their skills are. Learning styles. Know how students want to be taught. Two, stating objectives. This is stating the intent of instruction which may come in the form of knowledge, skills, habits, and attitudes, which the students will possess upon completion of the learning cycle. Roles of instructional objectives. One, provide directions for the instructional process. Two, communicate instructional intent. Three, provide a basis for student learning. 3. Analyzing the content. The teacher must be familiar with the characteristics of the subject matter or topics for which instructional materials whether high-tech or low-tech in nature will serve. 4. Selecting the methods, approaches, or strategies. The teacher should look into the harmonious relationship between the methodology, approaches, or strategies chosen the specific objectives and the content, applying the integration as planned, evaluating and revising the lesson plan phase. This involves the actual implementation of the plan integration. The material must be subjected to internal evaluation, which means the involvement of experts to look into the appropriate matching of the objectives, content methods and strategies and the technology used. Evaluating the result of instruction phase. This is the phase for the evaluation of quality and effectiveness of the technology as a tool for teaching and learning. The focus is determining which part of the integration worked well and what needs to be improved. Those are the different phases, steps on how you will design your ICT-based instruction. That's great. Thank you. I'll surely follow those steps. I'm pretty much sure that this will help me motivate my students. Did you understand the presentation? Yes, teacher. Then, what are the three phases needed to be considered in developing an instructional material? As mentioned in the video, Teacher, the three phases are The planning phase The applying the integration as planned phase and 
the evaluating and revising the lesson plan phase. Perfect. In the planning phase, what should the teacher must look for? The teacher should look for the learners, objectives, content, and methods, approaches or strategies. Very good, class. Then, why do you think knowing the learners is important? By knowing the learners, there will be an assurance that there is a match between the nature and characteristics of all the learners and the content, the methodology and the instructional materials. Excellent! What about instructional objectives? Are these instructional objectives important? Yes, teacher. Instructional objectives are necessary to communicate to students what they are expected to do and what level of performance should they exhibit. Very good. Class, aside from the learners and objectives, what else should the teacher must look for? The teacher should look over the content. What about the content? The teacher must be familiar with the characteristics of the subject matter, or the topics for which instructional materials, whether high-tech or low-tech in nature will serve. Fantastic! What else should the teacher must look for? The teacher should look for the methods, approaches, or strategies. What about that? The teacher should look into the harmonious relationship between the methodology, approaches, or strategies chosen, the specific objectives and the content. Excellent! What can you say then about the second phase? As mentioned in the video? The second phase is the actual implementation of the planned integration. Exactly. What about the third phase? Third phase is the phase for the evaluation of quality and effectiveness of the technology as a tool for teaching and learning. Very good. Do you have any question, class? None, teacher. Then, let's have an activity. I want you to use your observations from your laboratory school to conduct this activity. From your observation, focus with the instructional materials used by the teacher. Then, choose one that interests you. Plan how you are going to replicate it, or modify it, or to improve it. Are my instructions clear? Yes, teacher. Then, start. This activity is only good for 10 minutes. Evaluation. If you are already a teacher, using the steps in designing ICT-based instruction, construct your own instructional material. Discuss how it can be used in the classroom with a specific learning content. Assignment. Through a one stanza poem. Feature the importance of proper planning in choosing instructional materials to be used. References Theories and Principles of Educational Technology Garrow, Condell, Laria D. Pages 44-54